for years. I played for a number of different bands, uh, first keyboard, second keyboards, also served as MD. And so what we're going to do is we are going to get into some crazy chords. Let me first uh, congratulate you on taking the opportunity to invest in the gift that God has given you. And secondly, let me thank you for supporting this ministry and also our gospelfingers.net. Shout out to Jay Tallis. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to actually just go through an entire service. We're going to talk about talk music. We're going to talk about praise and worship. We're going to deal with grooves. We're going to talk about preacher chords, shouts. And we're going to end up with worship chords. So when we're done, you're going to have uh, an expansion of your core vocabulary from beginning to end. Uh, there's something on this DVD for everybody. For the beginner, you're going to expand your core vocabulary. For the intermediate, uh, it'll give you some different ideas for taking some different avenues for the chords that you're already using. And for the advanced player, if nothing else, you'll be able to listen and say, hey, that was kind of tight. So without further ado, let's get into it. God bless. Top music. Let's get into our first progression in C sharp. Okay. So the progression itself is nothing extremely intricate, but it sounds real full and it sounds real good for the beginning of a service. We basically went from a two, three, four progression. Um, if we're okay, let's try another talk music chord progression in E natural. Okay, so what did we just do? Okay, and I'm going to show you one last quick trick in uh, E flat, C minor. Um, that's a, just a quick little progression here. Again. The next lesson that we're going to get into is praise and worship. There are two different styles of praise and worship. You have the traditional and the contemporary. The traditional is nothing more than the good old hand clapping, foot stomping, upbeat songs that we used to sing for devotional uh, back when we were having service back in the 80s. So uh, we're going to deal with such songs as Can't Nobody Do Me Like Jesus, I Get Joy When I Think About, and also uh, This Is The Day That The Lord Has Made. We're just going to show you just a couple of different things to do uh, with those tricks. And then also we'll touch on maybe one contemporary song, maybe Lord I Lift Your Name On High, just to give you a different idea of what you can do with that song as well. All right, so let's get into it. Okay, now we're getting ready for praise and worship. There are two traditional um, progressions, if you will, uh, from my standpoint for praise and worship. Again, you have the old hand clapping, foot stumping praise and worship, but within that you have two different progressive styles um, for depending on which song you're singing. So for songs like I Get Joy, when I think about what he's done for me or can't nobody do me like Jesus, what you have is a one, four, five, one progression. And so we're going to talk about that now. Let's just listen to it. So, what did we do? All right, so we've learned the 1 4 progression, 1 4 5 progression, which is for uh, some of the standard songs I Get Joy, Can't Nobody Do Me Like Jesus. 
Uh, the next traditional would be uh, kind of with the This Is The Day. Uh, it's a little bit more involved, does a little bit extra. So I'm just going to go ahead and play that in E flat, and we'll just kind of break it down a little bit, okay? That was pretty much regression. I know you heard me humming. I hope you were humming in your head along with me. Um, all right, so we've just gone through a couple of cont uh, traditional movements. Now we're gonna get into just one contemporary song. Um, it's a very familiar song, very popular song. Uh, Lord, I lift your name on high. Uh, it's a really simple song. We're gonna do it. All right, so that's simple enough. Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I lift simple. But what we're going to do is we're going to add just a little bit of flavor to it. So we're going to go um, with a one, four, and then instead of going directly to the five, we're going to go one, the four, and then a flat three to a sharp five. All right? And you're wondering what kind of chords are going to go with progression like that. Lord, I lift your name on high. You can kind of hear where it's going with the melody. On this hand, we're going to do a same chord for the four. That's going to be that B, F sharp, the B major seven on the right hand. But instead, we're going to do a A major seven um, along with that A major. And then a D major seven. Do it again. See that? Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I lift your name on high. All right. Praise and worship is over. Uh, it's about offering time. Now we're going to get into a couple of grooves. Just a little something that you can do just to add a little flavor. Uh, let somebody in the room know that you know what you're doing on the keyboard. And give somebody some good walking music to go and give that offering with. Let's get going. All right. So we've gone through some talk music. We've gotten through praise and worship. Now it's offering time. This is a time when you get to showcase some of the different grooves that you've developed and learned. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over a couple of grooves that you can use to kind of give them some upbeat walking music. Uh, the first groove is going to be in the key of F, and uh, it's what I call a 4-2 groove. I know that sounds a little different, uh, but we're going to be using some minor nines and just kind of flashing up some stuff. So it's going to go from 1, 2, 3, 4 to the 2. All right, so let's get started and see what it sounds like. Oh, uh, yeah. So we got... That's four. And that's two. Four. Two. Let's add in the chords, and we are. So, real quick before I add a little bit extra to it, let me show you what I was doing. It was basically two minor nines in the 4-2 groove. Um, and there was one more that I wanted to show you. And we're going to do that one in C. Let's do it in C minor. Uh, this is what I call the one groove. It's basically going to hold the one on the bass, and we're just going to visit a number of chords in the right hand to just kind of brighten up that particular sound. It's going to really sound like uh, you've got a very expansive chord vocabulary, expansive chord vocabulary, excuse me, but you'll see it's pretty simple. Um, so we're just holding the, the one. And then 
then we're here. Seven this time. 